Imagine a world where horror games could thrive, where each new release could bring something innovative, terrifying, and exciting. Well, too bad that world doesn't exist thanks to Dead by Daylight monopolizing the entire genre. If that seemed a little harsh, yeah, it kind of was. Okay, let me start by saying I love Dead by Daylight. It's like that old hoodie you know you should probably replace, but it just feels so familiar that you keep wearing it anyways. But here's the thing, the game hasn't changed really since its release. I mean, other than adding new killers and survivors, it's basically a 2016 time capsule with a bunch of horror icons slapped on top. It's like the Apple of asymmetrical horror games. Hear me out. Think about it. Apple hasn't really innovated with the iPhone since the 13. They just keep giving us new colors, slightly tweaked designs, and maybe an extra camera to sweeten the deal. Dead by Daylight? kind of the same thing. We get a few cosmetic tweaks, hello new skins and licensed killers, but the core gameplay is stuck in a loop, just like my attempts to escape the killer's basement basically in every match. Now here's where Dead by Daylight really pulls an apple. They've effectively monopolized the asymmetrical horror genre. It's like the iPhone of horror games. Everyone knows it, everyone plays it, and everyone keeps coming back to it. Why? because they have all the big names. Dead by Daylight is like a horror convention, but the kind where they bring out every single A-lister. You've got your 80s classics like Freddy and Myers, 90s screamers like Ghostface, and now they've even dragged characters from video games like Resident Evil's Nemesis. It's an all-you-can-eat horror buffet, and every other asymmetrical horror game is just trying to serve a single dish. Let's take, for example, Texas Chainsaw Massacre or killer clowns from outer space. Games that are cool in their own right, but let's be real, they've only got one franchise. One, and that is the problem for every other asymmetrical horror game. They're competing with Dead by Daylight's multiverse of horror icons. It's like the horror genre's version of the MCU. Meanwhile, Texas Chainsaw Massacre is just sitting there saying, hey, we've got a Leatherface and some of his family members. But let's not pretend Dead by Daylight is this perfect game just because it has an army of horror legends. In fact, the gameplay itself hasn't evolved since day one. You fix generators, you loop the killer, you die, or if you're good at the game, you make an epic escape and brag about it for a day or two. Sound familiar? It is the same formula over and over again. But we keep playing it because, well, who wouldn't want to get chased by Ghostface in a game? Dead by Daylight isn't doing anything new, but it doesn't have to. Again, it's like the iPhone. Why bother innovating when you've got everyone locked into your ecosystem? You just throw a new skin on it, drop a new killer, and boom, people are hooked again. Behavior has figured out the perfect formula for gaming nostalgia. So what does this mean for the future of asymmetrical horror games? Honestly, until Dead by Daylight finally fades into the abyss, if that ever happens, no other game is really going to stand a chance. I say that because no other game's really going to be truly successful. Yes, games are fun. Killer Clowns from Out of Space, Texas Chainsaw Massacre, but they're not going to have that success on paper like Dead by Daylight has. That is why I keep saying that Dead by Daylight is the apple of horror games. And every other asymmetrical game is like one of those androids that people say is better, but everyone knows they'll just go back to their iPhones. As long as Dead by Daylight continues to dominate the market with its roster of iconic killers, new games will struggle to break through. And don't get me wrong, I'm not hating on the new games. I love some Leatherface action, but it's hard to compete with a game that has every horror franchise on speed dial. So will Dead by Daylight ever truly die? I mean, probably not. If you're like me, you'll keep playing Dead by Daylight until the servers finally die. Or until they release the next killer, which will probably be some deep cut from the Poltergeist series. Or heck, maybe we'll get a Jason Voorhees, if we're lucky. Until then, don't be surprised when every other asymmetrical horror game gets chainsawed by the juggernaut that is Dead by Daylight. Do you guys agree? Has Dead by Daylight truly monopolized the asymmetrical horror genre? I still love the game. While this video may be kind of harsh, that's okay. And a lot of you will not agree with me, and that's all right also. Let me know in the comments what your thoughts are. And if you enjoyed this video and want to see more content like this, don't forget to hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, and of course hit that notification bell so you do not miss any more content. 
Thank you guys for watching and see you in the next video.